Hey everybody, my name is Lee Fraser. I'm a technical specialist for Autodesk and on Friday I thought I'd do something kind of fun and play around with the explode node inside of Maya 2018. And along the way we'll play around with the dynamics node that we added in 2018 and talk a little bit about how to best use the explode node. Uh, of course the explode node is part of the MASH tool set inside of Maya. It's uh, Those are the motion graphics tools and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it but it's not necessarily the most intuitive node when it comes to actually blowing something up. So what we want to do is give our explode node a way of targeting a destination. So when I give it um, something to explode, I need to tell it where to explode the object. So in this case, I've created a mesh network of just default uh, default spherical distribution. I've, I'm using the new volume distribution type. You can see that I can kind of change the spherical bias here. And essentially, I'm just sort of creating a volume of, of um, of stuff because then what I'm going to do is just use the dynamics node to actually continue uh, these guys flying off into space. So I'm going to give it some initial velocity, uh, maybe some rotational velocity, and then I'm going to go to my bullet solver which is created with the dynamics node and give it some extra gravity and we'll just bring up our ground plane so we can see it. So just like that with a couple of changes, I've got this kind of nice confetti type uh, explosion of objects. And what I'm doing, just because uh, I know the number of polygons that are contained in my object, I'm matching the number of points that I'm creating to that, um, to that poly count. So it's about 2552. And so we're at the point we need to blow up our object. So I'm going to create inside my mash waiter, my explode node, and then I'm going to go to my display layers and turn on my object that I'm going to explode, which is my nice little default cow that comes in the uh, content browser. If you go into the general editor's content browser, there's a whole bunch of polygon uh, def or default poly polygonal objects uh, that you can draw from. And all I have to do is drag and drop that bull into the exploding mesh shape. And sure enough, my points get attracted to my destination that I mentioned before, which is my mesh network. So I can take my random strength slider and drive that back and forth. So let's do that. Let's take and set a keyframe on frame one. We'll jump out to like frame nine and have those guys blow up out into space. Uh, we'll select our explode node and let's actually change the tangent on here so it kind of pops out really nicely. And that'll work for me. So now when I hit play, what happens? Uh, my dynamics takes over, but my explode node stops in the original position of my mash network. So we need to fix that, and this shouldn't necessarily happen by default, but let's go into my, into my node editor, and if you haven't spent much time in here, this is a great way to uh, make some connections for things that might not uh, get connected by default, and you can clean up your display just by selecting nodes and hitting this minus key, so you can focus in on what you want to work with. So you can see right away that our MASH network takes the output points from the MASH network and separates them into the bullet solver separately from the explode node and we really don't want that. So you can kind of trace the output points into the bullet solver and then back into the repro mesh and if we open this up we might think well we can take the output points from here but there really is no output point section. If we try to turn on the filter here, we can see that there's only an out mesh, and that's not going to do what we want. So we can fix that by right mouse button clicking on the repro mesh, showing all attributes, and then it exposes the input points sort of exit point. It's not really an output point, but it's uh, just sort of a way of dragging those points into the explode node. And if we expand out its points, you can see it just has an input point section. Now we're going to hijack that. I'll take our input points into there, and just like that, we've got our setup that we had before. Let's actually turn back on our lights and our shadows to make it look nice. And if we did everything right, we should now have our cow explode out to these points and then let the dynamics take over. So I'm going to hide the repro mesh because it, we don't really need to see that. And when I hit play, sure enough, my points reach their final destination the way you would expect them to. And so we can play around a little bit with probably the, you know, it kind of hits that uh, spherical shape a little bit too early. So we could play around with the keyframe here, maybe move that out into space just a little bit. But ultimately, we get uh, the explosion that we want. One last tip, sometimes you'll get, uh, you'll find that the 
explode node gets lost and it doesn't show up inside the attribute editor, you can always go over to the outliner and display DAG objects only, turn that off, and you can find the explode node here and all the other mash nodes. So that is the explode node in my 2018. Hope you guys find that useful. And again, thanks for watching.